today's video I wanted to talk about Miss Dior and I wanted to talk about the reformulated Miss Dior's guys. So here I have three of the major reformulations. Now a bit of background, our beloved Miss Dior is changing once again, it's going to be reformulated. Now let's really talk about Miss Dior guys. Now this is going to be a very brutally honest review and my thoughts about this fragrance. And seeing as this fragrance is going to be discontinued, I wanted to share as much information about what is available now and what you can still find so that you guys can go out and stock up on this wonderful fragrance. This first part, I'm going to be talking about the good, the bad and the ugly. Everything Miss Dior, I'm going to talk about the flankers, I'm going to talk about what's been reformulated, I'm going to talk about the skincare range that matches this fragrance. So let's have a little recap. So, as you guys know, Miss Dior Cherie was my staple signature scent. This is a fragrance that came out in 2005 and it was reformulated a few times in between, which was 2008 and 2011. Now, this fragrance here is the original Miss Dior Cherie and I love this perfume guys, I really do. And after this one came out and it was reformulated, or should we say discontinued, because this however changed into Miss Dior. Miss Dior Cherie had notes of strawberry, cherry, pineapple, we had caramel, popcorn and rose, and in the base we had patchouli, musk and amber. And when they discontinued this fragrance in 2011, guys, I was so shocked because I just loved this fragrance so much. This was my true signature scent. And um, they changed it into this fragrance here. It then became our Miss Dior. And this is a fragrance, I have to say, even though this was discontinued, I did fall in love with this fragrance easily. It was so easy just to fall back in love with this one as they did remove that cherry strawberry and pineapple note in the top but we had more of a rosy base and then the patchouli was still left in the base so this became not so sweet as its um, predecessor and it was still a beautiful fragrance guys i have to say um it was very easy to still love this perfume and it's such a shame that they don't make this anymore. It was so beautiful. It was rosy with the mandarin and lemon, patchouli. I just love this perfume so much. Compared to the 2017, I have to say that these two are a little bit more similar in the sense that you've got that floral heart of rose. Not as sweet as this one and fruity, but it was close enough close enough I would still consider this to be a Miss Dior fragrance it's one of my favorites still to this day however I don't wear it as much only because it has been discontinued so the next reformulation came along would be this one here this is your current fragrance that you can buy today so this is your 2017 it is your floral fragrance and this is Sheepra style we do still have patchouli in the base we have rosewood also but in this heart we have grass rose we have damask rose in here we have jasmine leaf we do have pink pepper in addition to this perfume as well as blood orange we have sweet orange as well bergamot and lemon so it's got a bit of a peppery note in the opening now i have to say that this fragrance when i compare the growth and <laughs> reformulation of miss dior this lineup here i have to say that this new version is totally different to the original Miss Dior Cherie and even the Miss Dior 2012. This one right here is, in my opinion, a new fragrance altogether. It is extremely different. It smells nothing like the predecessors. The 2017 version is more praline. It is heavy. It's a dense sort of chocolatey fragrance with rose and some orange notes as well we do have patchouli but 
this is really creamy chocolatey rose and compared to the predecessors I have to say this was more sparkling and fresh it's very sweet and fruity you had that cherry or strawberry note in the original I gave Christian Dior a little break and I have to say I only started buying Dior fragrances again in 2019 and the main reason was because they keep changing up the formulas they keep reformulating the perfumes and you fall in love with this fragrance and then two years later if you're lucky four years later the fragrance has vanished it's no longer being remade i'm really curious as to how they're going to reformulate this perfume what are they going to do to our <laughs> miss Dior once again i'm really interested to know and i'm really hoping that they are going to add in the notes that was missing from these earlier fragrances here. In summary guys, these are the main three reformulations that I wanted to share with you. And in my honest opinion, I think that Miss Dior here, it's changed so much that I just wonder why Christian Dior didn't come up with like a new name for this perfume. Miss Dior 2017 smells absolutely nothing like these two here. And I do wonder why this fragrance still has the same name as Miss Dior. I think Christian Dior, if they had come out with a new name for this perfume, I think all the loyal Christian Dior customers would have accepted just a brand new fragrance in total. Because I think what's happening now is that you are telling us that this is Miss Dior, but it smells nothing like anything we're familiar with. Call it a different name and just start all over again. So I'm really wondering what is the future like for Miss Dior? I'm really intrigued to know. So I wanted to talk about the skincare that goes with the whole range of Miss Dior. So this is my skincare for the 2012. And then I have my skincare here, which is what you can buy today. And this is for your 2017 collection. And um, yeah, I just want to talk about the differences between the two and what I've noticed from my experiences with this brand. I have been wearing Christian Dior and Miss Dior fragrances for the longest time. So I know quite a bit about the fragrances and I can really detect when things are changing. Seeing as everything is going to be reformulated again, I'm not sure if the skincare and body care is going to change. So I just wanted to talk about that. So I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons. So let's talk about this set here first. So this is the set you can actually buy today. And here I have my shower gel. And then I also have my body milk. And guys, first off, let's talk about the advantages. For the 2017, I do love the packaging. I do love the design. I do love how this bottle here is clear and see-through. You can see the juice of the shower gel. It's a lovely pink color and I do love that. And then this one here is your body milk. I do love how the texture of this is really soft and smooth. It almost has like a powdery texture. If we have a look at the earlier design and the only difference is that this set here was white and it was more of a very smooth sort of a satin finish whereas this one here is like textured soft and powdery sort of like a velvety texture apart from the shower gel this one is smooth but the bottle is clear and I do love that I love the look of it it's beautiful so that's the pros so this set here my 2011 is going to match this fragrance here and also is slightly going to match my Miss Dior Cherie as well. This lotion smells like perfume and if I wanted to only wear the body products and not use perfume I could actually do that and I could achieve that scent by just wearing the body milk alone. So that gave me some options there and this shower gel was so moisturizing, so strong. You could smell this in the rooms downstairs. It just filters through the room. After having your shower, that steam will just carry this fragrance throughout your house. It's really beautiful. So this was a really good pairing, a really good set. This moisturizing milk was very 
moisturizing guys I received moisture from this and I have to say I do receive moisture even from the shower gel as well but the two were fairly moisturizing however guys let's talk about some cons so this is your 2017 look this is the new set this is if you're gifting this is how it's going to be presented today and I love it it's beautiful it's pink it's floral it's girly it's makes the perfect gift I just love the look of it I mean even with the branding here the Dior my teacup everything it just looks perfect when you add Miss Dior the 2017 version something looks pretty off here and guys tell me if you agree the whole color combination doesn't go it doesn't flow very well I've got this peachy ambery juice for Miss Dior 2017 and it doesn't quite match this look here this is my honest opinion this is just what I've noticed from the brand I can just see some changes and you can see we've got this very light light baby rose color shade and then you've got this peachy orange juice for the Miss Dior fragrance the set doesn't look complete it looks a bit mismatched and then if you look at the 2011 to 2012 version this is going to go very well because we've got a blank canvas here we've got the white packaging against this very honeyed light juice here so it matches very well now when I look at this one here I have to say that and I really want your opinion guys um, I find that the Miss Dior doesn't smell anything like the skincare I would love to hear your thoughts on this because I find that the skincare does not match the new version whatsoever in my opinion they are nothing alike and I was really surprised that this smells absolutely nothing like the perfume it doesn't smell anything like it at all now let's just refresh our minds with Miss Dior 2017 we have lemon orange and bergamot and then in the heart we have rose and a bit of jasmine patchouli rosewood and then in this set here I only receive rose I receive a very fresh green garden rose this version doesn't smell very complex it smells quite simple and light and floral it's very much a rose based lotion a rose based gel and I don't understand how this set is supposed to complement each other because they smell in my opinion nothing like each other I would love to know your thoughts on this um, guys because the set I have here smells nothing like my Miss Dior however my older version here you do get that true scent this is Miss Dior it's the same fragrance throughout so that's just another con the second con that I've noticed with this range here is that the moisture milk is not moisturizing I find it adds a very light delicate fragrance to my skin it's very much a garden fresh green floral scent it smells more like a body spray type of scent it's very light and floral and green but I don't find this very moisturizing and the scent smells nothing like Miss Dior there's no praline note in here if you are familiar with this version you know it's got like this chocolatey note um, but this one here it doesn't have that there's no creamy smoothness to it it smells fresh very different so that's just another con that I noticed so I just wanted to share that with you guys but putting all of that aside guys I have to say that I do love the packaging I'm happy that they kept the original packaging so from here you do still have the hound's tooth on the sides and that is present again in the new packaging which I do love I absolutely love the color of this it's so beautiful it's so dainty so girly very feminine and I'm happy with that it's just the scent for me this doesn't smell anything like Miss Dior this is my full set that I have for my Miss Dior 2012 version I do have the soap I have the body milk 
the shower gel and I do have the deodorant spray which smells amazing but this scent complements the predecessor here. You're not going to receive a very highly rich moisture from these products but I did receive a little bit more compared to the newer version here. I did receive a bit more moisture from these. The soap smells amazing and this is actually still unboxed. I haven't opened this one up yet but this is the original one that will match this here and oh my gosh guys you can just smell the bar of soap and to be honest what I do with this I actually just keep this in my drawer just to scent my clothes at the moment because I don't want to use it because it's been discontinued so I just actually keep this to keep my drawer smelling really pretty. I want to talk about another advantage from this 2017 collection. I find this skincare range really complements my blooming bouquet and I have an atomizer of this fragrance right here and this really smells amazing with this set. My blooming bouquet came out in 2014 and this is very floral, a little bit on the greener side. It's fresh, it's more sparkling. We have peony, we have apricot and peach and we have musk in the base of this perfume. Another thing is aesthetically now. If I put the set together, I've got my Mist Dior Eau de Toilette, I have my Hair Mist and when you look at this set, this looks like a true gift set. This complements, it's aesthetically pleasing, they are all the same colour, they look beautiful together as a set. You've got that sweet girly pink, very delicate colour that looks so beautiful together. But once again guys, if I put my Miss Dior <laughs> with this set here, can you see it just doesn't match? Now, the reason for this video is because I'm talking about how Dior has changed everything, all the reformulations that we keep on seeing for this perfume. So I'm wondering guys, do you think Miss Dior, they're going to change even the colour of this juice to match the complete set? Do you think that the reason why this has a praline note, very different to the others here, do you think that they're going to remove that note and perhaps just have everything a bit more streamlined? Guys, tell me what you think because can you see it doesn't match if I take that away that just makes a lovely set there in terms of aesthetics and color and everything just looks really lovely so I think in terms of an advantage yes this skincare the lotions and the shower gels it will definitely match the other flankers most definitely but looking at Miss Dior the original Miss Dior 2017 version I don't see how they match the next thing I wanted to discuss was the hair mist and if any of you have the hair mist let me know your thoughts on the hair mist. Again it's so beautiful, the design, the bottle, I absolutely love it. From what I know of a hair mist it is designed to replace wearing perfume on your hair, it's a perfume for the hair. So in that case the fragrance should smell exactly like or close enough to the actual perfume. So. When I put my Miss Dior perfume with the hair mist, they smell nothing alike, guys. <laughs> Tell me what you think. If you have this collection, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you agree with me, if you disagree. But this is what I find. Now, with the hair mist, I have to say, I bought the hair mist recently. This is a recent purchase. And I wasn't sure about buying this hair mist because do you know it was the juice and when I looked at the juice they were so different and I was thinking hmm, I wonder if they're going to smell <laughs> similar in any way I bought it anyway because I really wanted something for the summer just to like you know spray my hair in the day so I ended up buying the hair mist I have to say that this hair mist smells nothing like the perfume absolutely nothing like the perfume um, this smells like pure rose, it smells like a green, fresh, almost sparkling, but more of a garden rose. I'm just going to smell it again actually because, um, just to remind myself quickly, um, yeah, very green guys, um, fresh, a little bit of citrus in there. It smells nothing like this chocolatey, 
rose gourmand sweet fragrance that we know of and so I don't understand how this is a hair mist for Miss Dior so again that's something I've noticed I could have just not have had this in my collection because it's not something I would grab and it's not a scent that I love and then it doesn't smell anything like Miss Dior. I bought this because it's a perfume for the hair that should smell like Miss Dior but this one smells nothing like it. So guys let me know did you find the same thing? Did Were you surprised as I was to find that this smells nothing like Miss Dior? I have other hair mists in my collection and it smells like the body fragrance. It smells like the actual perfume. So that's something I noticed as well. I think that my Miss Dior hair mist will complement this set here, but I think it would definitely complement my Blooming Bouquet. I think that's a really nice combo right there. So darlings, if you're a fan of this fragrance and let me know what you thought of my review today. I wanted to be as open and honest as I could and I wanted to include all the information you need for this beautiful fragrance that we have here. And if they are reformulating this perfume, oh my gosh, guys, I have to stock up on this just in case it smells totally different <laughs> once again. So I'm going to leave all the links to the products that you can find this fragrance because I don't want you guys to be anything like me and miss out on all of these fragrances and not buy a backup bottle. But I really want to know what direction is Christian Dior going with the Miss Dior range now? Um, I'm really intrigued to find out and I'm really curious to know what you guys think as well. I think it's such a shame. This is a masterpiece here. You know, we've been crying out for this fragrance. We love this perfume so much. I do you understand that there was some maybe some legal issues with the reformulations and things like that? Um, why things had to probably change but if we could just have something very similar to Miss Dior Cherie I think the loyal fans of Dior would be very happy about that and I think when you just go too far and just change everything up just call it a new fragrance give it a new name a new campaign and market it some other way but don't carry on the Miss Dior name I do hope that however they do change this perfume we have longevity we can get that complex notes in there something that smells like a christian dior fragrance that would be great i think we would really love that so darlings that's my summary for you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting i am waiting to find out what's going to happen next with miss dior so I'm going to update you guys and I'll see you in the next part of this series. I'm doing a little mini series so I'll see you in the next episode darlings. So yes let me know which is your favourite, what do you think of Miss Dior and how it's changed over the years, are you happy, will you continue to buy even if it's not something you love, are you a loyal Miss Dior fan, let me know in the comments down below, let's get chatting and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.